Hi guys, today I am going to draw a beautiful bird named Lilac Breasted Roller. I chose to draw this bird because of its beautiful color distribution. Drawing a bird is actually very easy with colored pencils, especially when drawing small birds like this one. So in this tutorial, I am trying to explain the process of coloring in a step by step manner so that you can easily follow. I am using Prismacolor pencil for this tutorial and I drew this on a Canson fine grain paper. I am planning to use baby oil as the solvent so you don't need to have a sharp pencil point always. As you can see I have made an outline here with graphite pencil and I will erase it along the coloring process so that it won't show up in the final drawing. I am starting off with the color light aqua for most of its belly and a small area on its head. As you can see I am not at all worried about the uniform application of pencil and you don't need a sharp point either. Just fill in the area with the color and that's all that we need. Now switch to the color true blue and draw some rough lines in the direction of feathers and make the area below the wing darker with the same color. And then switch to the color violet blue and draw below the wings and towards the upper edge of the belly. These areas are the shadows of wing and breast feathers. And draw some rough lines in the direction of feathers just like we did with the true blue. Now take the color lilac and draw a base layer over its chest. These lilac colored feathers are the reason for the name of this bird. But we will use a few more colors other than lilac too, otherwise the bird will look too flat. I am using the color parma violet now to draw some rough lines like we did on the belly. Notice the direction of feathers now, it curves around the chest towards the neck. After drawing some lines, I am using the color magenta to make this area a bit more interesting. And I drew some rough lines with the color magenta too. Now moving on to the next area, I am using pink as the base color and carmine red as the dark color. And draw this small area just like we did with the previous colors. I am using sienna brown additionally to make the area towards its eye darker. Using the colors indigo blue and dark amber, I am drawing its beak and eyes. Just a few layers will do. And notice that I am using the color true blue for the lighter areas of her beak. Its head is mostly white but I am using blues, pinks and violets to draw a few feathers over its head. Make sure that you don't apply the pencils heavily. Now coming to the wing, I am using rosy beach as the base color, then use sienna brown towards the bottom. To darken it further, I am using dark amber towards the lower edge and to make it more colorful, I am adding a few layers of oranges as well.
Using a black pencil, I am drawing the remaining parts of the wing. There is nothing special here, just fill in the areas with the pencil. Now it is time to dissolve the colors with baby oil. Just take some baby oil in a synthetic brush and wipe off the excess and apply it over the drawing. The pencil strokes will get dissolved and fill the paper evenly. It also helps to eliminate the grainy look of the paper and it makes the colors much more vibrant. I am leaving behind the head feather right now because I don't need to make it darker. So I will use blender pencil instead of baby oil. Like I said before, I am using only blender pencil for the head. Now with the help of an electric eraser, I am further defining the feathers. Just use some lazy strokes in the direction of feathers. If you don't have an electric eraser, a normal eraser or a white pencil will do the job. I am using the colors violet blue and white for adding a few more feathers to the belly. And I am darkening some areas with a black pencil for getting a better contrast. Finally, I will draw the tree branch and the feet with some grey, brown and black pencils. The drawing is complete now. 
It took me only 45 minutes to draw this one. Like I said, it is very easy and rewarding to draw a small bird like this. So give it a try. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. You can follow me on all social media linked below.